everybody. Welcome back. Well, um, happy Halloween Eve, I guess. It's, um, it is Sunday, the day before Halloween, the day before the big day. And um, we're doing a double feature today. We got two reviews in one video. I'm going to try and keep this short, um, but because it is two movies, um, it might run a little longer than normal, but I'll try my best to keep it short. All right, so we're looking at two incredible classic um, horror comedy movies. Uh, more so the second one with the comedy, but let's talk about the first one first, The Evil Dead. Now, unfortunately, um, Evil Dead 1, The Evil Dead, is the three of the three movies in the series, the one I have the least amount of exposure to. I've only seen it a handful of times, and I was lucky enough to find a DVD at a, at a uh, flea market one. So I do have it on DVD, and I have watched it. Um, a couple months ago was my first time, and I gotta tell ya, man was I missing out. It, um, it is great. You know, it's kind of like the quintessential cult cheesy 80s movie. That's what it is. It's kind of like its own, it, that's, Evil Dead, in a sense, is that. Um, so it's about this group of teenagers that go to this cabin and accidentally unleash the, uh, this evil force in the woods via... The Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. And um, the movie just centers around pretty much how all of them die and stuff like that. It's kind of it's kind of like uh, what you would expect to happen. They all die, except one, spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't seen this movie, this shouldn't be a spoiler, but Bruce, Ash, Ash, played by Bruce Campbell, survives, and um, he's the badass. So Evil Dead 1 is a classic. Um, I read online that... Um, Evil Dead 1 was made on a budget of $350,000 that Sam Raimi and his crew with Bruce and all them raised by making a movie called Within the Woods. And uh, so it, it's $350,000 actually sounds like a lot more money than I thought it would be, but it's still low budget. Um, but it is more than I thought it would be. But um, this movie's great. If you haven't seen The Evil Dead, see it. Um, it's a classic 80s 80s movie. It's got a huge cult following, and uh, you just should check it out. All right, so a few years later, in 87, I believe, Evil Dead 2 comes out. The first one came out in 81, I think. I'm pretty sure about the years. 81, then Evil Dead 2 came out in 87. So six years later, we have Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. Now, Evil Dead 2 had a much larger budget, but was still not very big. Um... So it's 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 a little bit bigger. It's a bit bigger of a picture, but in essence, it's pretty similar to the first. There is a huge debate whether Evil Dead 2 is a sequel or a remake. Here's my thought. The two movies are similar but different. There's things, there's continuity that don't that doesn't match up between the first and the second. Like why would Ash go back to the cabin? See, in the first of Evil in the in the beginning of Evil Dead 2, there's a recap sort of thing. It um recaps Ash going to the cabin with his girlfriend and being possessed and she's killed, all that. Now what this is how I view it. The first, I believe, seven minutes are a recap and it doesn't start until after seven minutes. Evil Dead Two doesn't officially start until after the recap of the quote first movie. And the reason that in the recap so to say, only has Linda and Bruce is because to, the budget wouldn't allow for them to get um, all the other characters, and also the or, you know they they wanted to save money by only having two actors that were more important. So there was also um oh crap what was I gonna say oh yeah the and the reason they didn't use footage from the original Evil Dead is because they could not get the rights to use it. I don't know why, that just seems like you made the movie, you should be able to use it, but, you know, I don't fully understand the copyright laws, so, whatever, they couldn't use it, so they did have to reshoot it. So, anyway, Evil Dead 2, in my opinion, is much better than the first, and the first one was damn good, so Evil Dead 2 is a really, really damn good movie. Um, it pretty much follows the same formula. Bruce and his girlfriend go to the cabin, this is again in the recap of the first, she gets killed, and, um... You know, and she gets possessed, and he has to kill her, and um, all that. And then this group of um, this woman, a man who, this the lady, the woman in the group is, 
Professor Nobi, who wrote the, um, who was studying the Book of the Dead in the cabin, it's her daughter. It's his daughter, rather. So she's on. She found some missing pages in the book. So she's going back to the cabin with her friend, to, you know, find her father and do do their business, whatever. Well, along the way, the bridge is out, and they run into this redneck, and um, his girlfriend that's way too hot for him. So, <laughs> so they run into them, and so now there's four of them. And they are going to the cabin where Bruce or Ash, excuse me, where Ash is. And so when they get there, you know, all this, all this stuff happens, and it just, you know, I watched the Evil Dead Two yesterday, and this is what I felt while watching it. There was never a point where I felt, you know, bored or, you know, tired of the same thing because each time something happens, something else happens immediately after it. It's just nonstop a good time. I just, I, it's a great movie. It is great. Um, no CG. There's some cool stop motion. Um, a lot of cool camera effects. The one thing with Evil Dead 2 is if you get it, I, I recommend getting the version, whichever version it is, I'm not sure. I know my version has it. It's the collectible tin version. Get the version that has a commentary from Bruce, Sam, and two other people that I am forgetting their names. But the commentary is great because the Evil Dead commentaries are incredible, all three of them. Because it sh it tells you like little camera tricks that they got that they did to make something look a certain way, and it is awesome, extremely interesting. So definitely get it and watch it with the commentary. So so anyways, back to Evil Dead Two. So the end of the movie, pretty much what happens uh, again. Spoiler alert! But if you haven't seen it, see it. Um, the woman reads the passages in the book, and it opens up. It 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 brings the evil out in the flesh so it's like a physical form instead of the uh you know the moving camera in the woods thing that we're used to and it attacks the cabin and then she has to read the other passage which opens a vortex to suck it back in time or some you know send it back well she does that but she's also stabbed by bruce's decapitated hands and so the vortex opens and bruce is sucked in with it so the end of the movie shows him falling landing in 1300 AD and he kills a deadite when it showed when he's first there and so all the people think that he's um a prophet sent from the skies to kill all the deadites and save them that's where the movie ends and that's where the army of darkness picks up um so some really cool things about evil dead 2 it's got some cool great cool effects um again the stop motion everything's really cool um, the neat camera tricks are fun to hear about too, and um, this is actually the movie where Ash's hand becomes possessed and he cuts it off and replaces it with a chainsaw. So I mean, when you have that in a movie, when you have your hand cut off and replaced with a chainsaw, you cannot go wrong. So um, that's I mean, you could I guess, but they definitely didn't. Anyway, so so that's Evil Dead one and two. I recommend them both highly, extremely, extremely recommended. Definitely Evil Dead two. Um, so yeah, see them, and then there's a third one in the series, Army of Darkness, and we'll take a look at that tomorrow. So thanks for, thanks for watching, and happy Halloween.